Should you buy an RV lot? I used to say, no way, but now I'm seeing some advantages I never thought about. Today we're at the Las Vegas Motor Coach Resort, and this luxury RV resort has been voted one of the top five in the country by USA Today. And I get to stay here for my birthday. That's right. Thanks, babe. <laughs> we, we did splurge a little bit to come here, but it was well worth it. Yeah, and since we've gotten here, we have been surrounded by luscious trees. It's just beautiful. I can see why people might want to buy a site here for themselves. Yeah, it's something about palm trees that really calm me. Yeah, so... I thought we would take one for the team and we <laughs> yeah. would participate in every amenity that they offer here just so you guys can see what a luxury resort is all about. Right, we want you to get the most bang for your buck and there is a lot to do here. And while we're at it, we're also gonna share some of the pros and cons of buying your own RV site. So if you're considering doing that for yourself, make sure you pay attention. This resort has a diner right on property and they have some of the best breakfast burritos that you can ever eat. Amenity number one. So I love that we're able to ride our bike to get some good breakfast. I love it when I don't have to cook. Ditto. <laughs> and it was fast and it was hot. Um, I'm telling you, this is a cool little place um, here near the entrance to the Las Vegas Motor Coach Resort. So now it's on to kick Stacy's butt in a little pickleball. Oh no, he's going down. Yeah, right knee be damned. <laughs> there you go. Close. Hey, I hit it. That's progress. Amenities is one of the number one reasons to buy your own RV site. Most campgrounds have things like tennis courts, pickleball courts, swimming pools, clubhouses, parties, all kind of things. So if you buy your own RV site, you can be included in those options too. You know, the last time we actually played pickleball, I couldn't use my right arm. Oh, my that's arm. right, you had it in your pocket. I had to put it in my pocket, and I, I keep it in my pocket, and I had to use my left hand. And we were with, uh, is that when we were Al and Angie? Yeah. Oh, wow, that was so fun. But this is far better than playing with my left hand. It's also far better than tennis. Yeah. I feel like I have a fighting chance. Oh. I just gotta remember I can't do that. Not the test. Okay, practice swing? Yeah. Oh, that's probably too far too. Oh no! That's good! Another pro is you can choose where you wanna buy and you can buy in your favorite city. If you have a place you keep going back to over and over and over, well that might be the perfect place for you to buy your own RV site. Another thing to consider is RV storage. That can be pretty expensive if you don't full-time RV or you can't park it at your house. You buy one of these super luxurious RV lots, you could store it there, set it up as your mobile vacation home, and you're good to go. This resort has four laundry rooms on the property, and they are all free to use. So I figured while we're at the pool, might as well knock out some laundry. Let's talk about some cons. Every RV park is going to have rules, regulations, and probably an HOA. And we know how HOAs go. There's going to be rules that not everybody likes, but they're needed to keep everything nice, neat, and orderly. So if rules and HOAs don't appeal to you, this might not either. You may not be able to find a campsite to purchase in your favorite city or town or even in your favorite campground. And if you do find campsites for sale at very popular destinations, you might be priced out of the campground. Community is an aspect that can be a pro or a con. If you're purchasing an RV site so you can have friends and neighbors and hang out with them, that's great, you can do that. But remember, 
with the seasons, a lot of these neighbors will be leaving and you may have temporary guests come in to rent their site. Although the initial purchase of your own private parking lot may be expensive up front, over time you can recoup those costs and eventually start saving money. Now as you can see, we're in the gym here at this resort and I was going to overlay some b-roll of our workout yesterday, but I didn't want to embarrass Phil with how much weight I was on. <laughs> I was pumping on the bench press. Right. One of the amenities of this campground is Wind Down Wednesday. Some call it W-I-N-D, some call it W-I-N-E. We're going with the second and we're going to go check it out. And this is not your average campground. This is a luxury RV resort. So the Wind Down Wednesday should be outstanding. That's right. <laughs> I got to tell you, Wind Down Wednesday was so much fun. It was. No wine was involved in this, but there was a lot of winding down. But we did have some 805 beers, which were free. And Phil had lasagna dinner and brought home leftovers. Yeah, they loaded me up with a big old clamshell here full of lasagna and pasta salad. Win-win so, for me. This amenity was spot on. We were sitting there talking for hours with everyone, and it was the best time ever. Taxes is definitely another con. We were so excited not to have to pay taxes on our property anymore once we sold it to go full time. Most people don't want to invest in a property that means more taxes. <laughs> That's true. And with most and with most real estate investments, you'd never know in the beginning whether your investment will go up or down. One of my favorite things is community. This RV resort is the epitome of having a community around you. They're always doing something. There's a ton of activities. In fact, they're doing a welcome back for everybody that's been gone all season. So that to me is huge. All right, we're gonna try and fight the wind and give you two more pros. One, if you buy your own private lot, you can probably rent it out when you're not there to help you cover the mortgage and eventually make a profit. Yeah, let somebody else pay the bill. <laughs> it works for me. The other thing is you can customize your lot. Now, depending on where you're at, you might be limited into maybe just an outdoor kitchen or maybe a pet area, but in a resort like this, the sky's the limit as long as you have the moolah to add to it. I know what you're thinking. Another pool? Yes, another pool. This resort actually has five pools. This is the main pool, and the two you saw us in earlier are their smaller pools where the laundry mats are. And unfortunately, we couldn't swim in every single pool. I know you're dying for us to do that, but they were redoing, they were resurfacing some of the decks. Yeah, and on top of the five pools, there's six hot tubs, two in the main pool here. I know what you're dying to know. How much does it actually cost to buy your own RV site? Show me the money. <laughs> it's all about the dollar. Yeah, in some parts of the country, you could pay as little as $25,000 for a RV lot. But if you want luxurious resort style five star amenities like this resort, you're going to pay anywhere up to $850,000. That's right. There's a lot here at this park that recently sold for $850,000. And we're going to walk you by that in just a minute. <laughs> yeah. If you've got a little extra cash to spend on something like that, adopt me. <laughs> we're available for adoption. That's right. <laughs> now, this resort has all types of lots available to purchase. Everything from a totally empty lot to build outs like what we talked about for that $850,000 unit. Yeah, and for the empty lots, you're just going to get a level site and a pedestal, and it starts about $130,000. And from there, you can choose your build and your price range and just keep going up. Welcome to our site. We are enjoying our outdoor kitchen, but before we go any further, we want to give you a few points to consider before you buy an RV lot. Yeah, first of all, for resale value, the less neighbors you can see from your site, the better. That's right. And for resale, bigger is always better. One of the things you might want to consider for resale value is what RVs are allowed in that campground. We are staying at a motor coach resort, and obviously only Class A's are allowed. So that will limit your rental ability as well as your resale ability. Yeah, good point. The most popular kind of lot are waterfront or water view spots to include end units and those that back up to natural borders. Now, if you're considering buying a lot, you're gonna compare lots that were pre-owned and have a build out on it or lots that are bare bones. Remember, there could be a lot of hassle involved and delays involved with permits, construction. It could be a big ordeal. So your best bet might be actually spending the extra money and getting the one with the current build out. Yeah, that's a good plan. This was the first site we rented and oh my gosh, I could have just moved in. I didn't want to leave. Yeah, this, this side here will spoil you for nice, luxurious 
RV sites. Yeah, and it was really cool because we actually came into this park because of a couple that we know, and they are good friends with the people in this site, and they actually follow us, so we were able to FaceTime them to say thanks for not being here. Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> I thought you guys might be interested in a little tour of our current lot. As you can see, this kitchen is fabulous. And actually, I really love what they're using for their drawers here. It's actually, um, it goes out in the garage for tools. It's pretty cool. And they don't have to worry about, you know, the doors weathering and all that stuff out here in Vegas. Now, as you can see, this site is not as elaborate as our first site, but it is pretty fabulous and it's really comfortable. So they have the full kitchen, as you can see behind me and oh, they have an oven check it out you guys know i don't have an oven in my rv so i have been using the heck out of this thing so you can see here our seating area so plenty of room for us to kick back on the couches and chill out and then back here trying not to make you guys dizzy this site actually has two storage areas now we can't use these just the owners use them they are locked up and they have a um, utility sink as well as the second storage unit here and I'm told that one of these storage units are a full-size washer and dryer all right so one other thing I wanted to show you guys let me squeeze in oh you can see I have been my computer is open I have been diligently working on Saturday's video for y'all you can see some of these products over here in the corner no in case you're wondering we did not go crazy on Amazon and have a crazy spending spree. These are actually items that were sent to us from companies who have donated for the silent auction to benefit Homes for Our Troops. Now we are super, super excited about this. We will be doing it, I think it's going to be now on Sunday during the Bloom Fiesta. So we're still working out all the details. Um, so for information as to all the products that we are going to be auctioning off, please head to our website at todayisomeday.net. I'll put the link down below for that. And again, this is all going to benefit our favorite military charity, Homes for Our Troops. Now, for those of you who cannot be at the Bloom Fiesta and participate in the silent auction, don't worry because a lot of these companies have given us products to give away. So if you're at home, we are going to go live and we're going to be giving some stuff away live right then and there while, during the YouTube live. And if you're at the Bloom Fiesta and you find us, we will give you a raffle ticket. So those of you who are there, you're also going to have a chance to win prizes. And we're going to draw those numbers out of a hat during our live as well. So for those of you at the Fiesta, you have to be able to come and get your prize. We won't be able to mail those out. I got to tell you, the companies that donated them donated without hesitation. So we are so grateful. And just so you know, these are just a sampling of the items we're going to have for the silent auction. We have a lot more for you guys to check out over on the website. I know you're dying to see the $850,000 RV site. Yeah, we are as well. We can't actually go on the site and give you a full tour, so we're going to walk by, give you a little drone footage, walk by, and see what we can see. And hopefully we can see it from the street. We're trying not to be too stalkerish. <laughs> hopefully we won't get ejected for, for being on property being, we're not supposed to be on. Being nosy. <laughs> yeah. Well, Phil's always nosy. Well, so. Hey, hey, no, no, no. It's called knowing my surroundings. Oh, uh, whatever. He's the nosy neighbor. Don't let him fool you. All right, that was it. I hope you could see it. It has a huge building on it. I would love to go through that building and see what else in there. Yeah, it looked like it could be a one bedroom apartment almost. I mean, the thing was had glass doors and glass windows all around it. The only one in here that we've really seen like that. If you don't want to spend 25,000 all the way up to $850,000 to own your own private RV site, don't worry. You can still have a great time at some of these campgrounds, even the five-star resorts, and you can rent. That way you're not paying a mortgage nor taxes. That is exactly what we did and probably what we'll continue to do for a yeah, while. Yeah, this was a really nice stop, and I can tell you there's a lot of bang for your buck even under a rental. But I got to tell you, <laughs> sorry, I looked at her and got distracted. <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. It, it is, every day. But like most RVs, finding the right uh, resort spot is going to be tricky. 
So they're not all created equal, just like not all RVs are created equal. So make sure you do your homework before you sign on the dotted line. Yeah, don't just jump and sign something and have buyer's remorse later. Make sure you research the camp, the campground, the campsite, the area, surrounding area, and right. make sure you get the RV site that is perfect for you. Yeah, we've been, we've been in here now for a while, and everyone that we've talked to has given us all kinds of great information. They've answered some of our questions. Uh, it's, it's kind of that research doing your homework phase when you go in and rent. That way you truly know what you're getting into. So expect us to stay at more five-star resorts in the future because I think we need to do a lot more homework. Yeah, we're going to do that just for y'all. <laughs>